We have the host of the Grammys on the line, Alicia Keys. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. How you feeling? Well, I'm. I feel good. How are you feeling about the weekend? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so crazy excited. I'm. I'm bringing that energy, that light. It is going to be the best Grammys that you ever watched. I'm well, going to go ahead and say it. I, I don't doubt it. And I also, I mean, listen, you're no stranger to the Grammys, as we all know, with so many Grammy wins. But you Thank also you. are one of the most incredible artists so that, you know, as as host, it's a whole different vibe and lens that people look through because you are, you're, you're one of them, you know? Yes, that's how I feel. You know, I've been thinking a lot about it, and I've been thinking about my friends and all the people that are going to be in the building. And I think that sometimes these things can be a little kind of stressful you know the yeah. whole day is a it's high energy you're trying to be your best you're trying to put on the best show you can i think by the time you get there you can sometimes feel a little bit you know just tense and i really want to create the energy that just lets people's shoulders drop lets everybody just really feel the celebration that we're about to have and and and, and also celebrate each other because like this is an amazing opportunity that we have to the gift of music to share with each other to share with everybody at home and that's the energy that's going to be out there. So I feel like people are also going to be relaxed more than they ever felt before. I agree with that. that's what I want to bring. I agree. You know? I, I mean, you will be able to set the tone from the second you walk out. Now, you said, I did see, read that you said you wanted to host the show in a way that's never done before. So I'm wondering, are you going to sing things instead of speak things sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of ways that it's going to go down. You definitely have to tune in to, to experience the wonder. But um, I do plan on, you know, just bringing us. It, it is. It, it can be my own version, my own style of it as an artist, as a musician, and definitely just being familiar with the, with the energy and the space. So I do plan on kind of doing some fun things you will be seeing. I love there was a video I saw of you basically telling your family that you were hosting the Grammys and your kids were totally un unimpressed. <laughs> I was like, come on, this is like big news, guys. <laughs> like, everybody else was so excited. And they were like, um, you know what they were worried about? They were like, does that mean you have to go away? They were like, well, right. where are you going? That's Aww. what they were thinking about. So I felt them. I felt them. And I do, I, did, I do obviously have to go away. I'm away now from them. But it's okay. Now they get it. They feel it. They're going to watch it. They're going to be excited. Popcorn. Goodbye. Now, have you thought, obviously you perform all the time and you travel all the time. So you're used to, you know, big moments and big performances and being in the spotlight. But because this is a unique thing for everyone, really, with you hosting the show, have you thought about what you want to do afterwards? Because I, not to, com <laughs> not to compare, but after I host something, I, it's all about what I'm eating. And I think about it during the show. Do you yeah, think that I way? I feel like the amount of energy that I'm holding and containing and intention that I'm bringing, I definitely might need to be carried out by like a group of 10 people and just like fanned. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I might need a fan, some grapes, something like a fan. massage on my feet, my hands, my head. Just full you know, pamper. Super, yeah. Like a full pamper moment, just like. As I'm leaving the building, it needs to happen simultaneously <laughs> in some incredible way. That's how I'm feeling. Well, Swiss, you got your work cut out for you, buddy. All right, let's get on this. You heard the order. You better get it done. The you order right. is in. So right. He's down. He's so down. Oh, that, that's so fun. I'm, I'm just so happy that you're doing it. It's like the kind of energy we need in a show, and we need to celebrate and we need yes. to, you know, right? I mean, I think it's just, it really is about celebration of, of all this great talent. Come on, man. It's unbelievable. And everybody's story all together and different versions, different people, different places, different walks of life, all coming in one building, one place to just be excellent and just encouraging each other to be, you know, incredible and, and celebrate what we bring to the table. And, and as there's so many women that are nominated and, and so deserving, so many people who maybe haven't, you know, received their just due properly are having the potential to have it this year. And I really, you know, I'm looking forward forward to that that being the ultimate celebration that people who are so deserving of recognition really get it and for us to just all be you know enthralled with it and 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 celebrating along with everybody so that's the vibe that's what you're gonna feel you know it's gonna be fun and we're gonna have a ball five out of the eight nominees for album of the year are women 
speaking of. Yes. And that's how it's supposed to be. I think, obviously, you know, we've witnessed some imbalances all over in, in, in every in every capacity of the word um, in regards to where we are in the world. You know, there's a lot of imbalances right now. And so I, I think that we each have to bring forth the light and definitely bring forth the ability to start balancing things up. And, you know, women, we more than ever deserve our seat at the table. And, and as we can see in politics and as as executives, as creatives, as, as runners and rulers of the world, you know, it's just time for that balance to be back in order. So I love seeing that reflected you know, with, with the nominees, and that's what it's supposed to be. There is no one that can do what she can do, and she will do it on Sunday at the Grammys. It is uh, Alicia Keys, Sunday 5 Pacific, yes. 8 Eastern on CBS. We will see you there. Let's get some watch parties happening. I can't wait to see y'all. All right. Thanks for calling, Alicia. Take care. Good luck. Lots of love. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Now that, that warms me. Like, yeah. just the sound of her voice is so, even her speaking voice just is so soulful and soothing. Elegance. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. The pace of that, the cadence of that, that, I think she'll sing a little bit.